people, uh, the students there at Ringling never cease to amaze me. Um, they do some really good stuff here, and this piece is a great showcase of all of that. On the technical side, um, j just looking at the animation, it's fluid, it's beautiful. The character has weight when he's swinging around. He doesn't feel uh, weightless. Um, it's just got that real gravity to it. The substance work is really good, really strong uh, texturing. They do some really good stuff there. Um, the uh, story itself is cute. Uh, an little take on the old man and the sea sort of thing. Um, and it's delightful. And it's just really well directed, too. There's some great uh, sort of contrast between uh, shots from one to the next. They go big, they go small. It's all over. It's beautiful. It's dynamic. It's absolutely worth checking out. A spectacular effort and steampunk animation it really had the the um there was a couple things that i really liked about the iron fin pirate um i love the detail of his harpoon robotic arm and that and the mechanical nature of the sperm whale really gave it the steampunk um mood that it, i kept feeling it basically felt like the story of moby dick told steampunk fashion in two minutes with crisp and clean animation that reminded me of the California Raisins. I miss that. So, um, very fun to look at, very quick story to watch, and I liked it very much. Clouds at the beginning of Iron Fin were actually really convincing. After that, I had a hard time uh, adjusting back into animation. Um, they're really impressive. So, my uh, interpretation of this is this basically like a flying robot aircraft animation of Moby Dick. Um, it was really cool to see the clouds puff up uh, there at the end, like splashes of water when the whale uh, jumped into the clouds. A very neat concept, and the animators really have uh, quite the eye for detail here. Beautiful animation. The clouds in the sky in particular was just... It was so realistic and lovely and what I hope floating through the sky would, would feel like. Um, in particular, there was one scene where uh, the hero entered the storm cloud and we get to see that transition into the darkness and the, the, the storming uh, lightning and wind and everything inside and then he emerges out of the cloud and it's bright and beautiful and sunny again. I just, I really liked that. Um, I feel like I got an inside view of what a storm cloud looks like. <laughs> beautiful story and it had a really nice happy ending and it was so visually pleasing to watch. I loved this. I thought it was so cute. It was so well animated. Um, it's kind of like the classic tale of like the thorn in the paw with the lion. And there's been a, di a bunch of different ways it's been done, but this was so fun and taking it to the sky with the animation and um, you kind of obviously make assumptions about how this, how you think the story is going to go between the sky and this um, whale looking thing. I thought the animation was really refreshing because it wasn't, it mirrored a lot of different styles that I've seen before but it wasn't a hundred like it wasn't something that I, I it wasn't a style of animation that I've seen done a lot um it was similar to several different styles that I see very frequently so kind of seeing like a mesh or a blending of those was really interesting I personally really loved the animation in this film um I think it was like just beautiful visuals throughout um I know, like, this is definitely something where I was, like, kind of on the edge of my seat when I wasn't really expecting to be, because um, it, it was, it kind of was like a chase. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm watching this, or watching this, like, really hoping that he gets away and he makes it out safe. Like, not even really sure why he's running away or the, the backstory, but we want to make sure that, like, the character that we feel drawn to gets out safe. And, um, and then in the end, it actually seemed like... He was, like, saved by this person that we, like, you know, thought was, like, the bad guy or something. So um, I really liked that spin, and I really enjoyed this film. Incredible animation. I was blown away. There was such uh, detail and texture to it. There was a great pace, and in such a short amount of 
time, it gave us this really epic climactic battle and no exposition was needed. I mean, you could give us all of the intro, but I feel like I knew who this character was and it was this great little sneak peek of Moby Dick in the skies in 3030 or year 4000. It was very cool. Like a sci-fi futuristic Moby Dick. And it just comes at you in a real flash. It has very impressive animation for, you know, an under three minute short. And it's it's really clever in its concept. Um, this would be something that I believe should be expanded upon because what you have in this idea is a way to translate classic literature into a form that is accessible to children uh, with a kind of visual palette that might be more enticing to them than if it were to be done in the traditional sense. I mean, boats on water and whales still likely interest children, but this is a, a different approach that might very well be worth exploring on a more extended format. So very well done, a proof of concept in a lot of ways, this short film, and uh, catches the eye from the first second. <laughs>